preparing you for one. I'll tell you a true story, man. I knew this girl who was a friend of mine. Uh, she was dating this married guy. I said, how can you possibly think God is going to send you the right guy? Why are you dating this married dude? How do you think this works? But they went to the same restaurant, had the same booth for two years. They met every week. It's kind of like, uh, remember uh, Billy Paul's old song? Me and Mrs. Mrs. Jones. We meet every day at the same cafe, 6.30, because I know she'll be there. That was a song. Well, this woman dated this man for two years. They went to the same restaurant. He knew the maitre d'. The maitre d' kept the table for him. The maitre d' watched this going for two years. He kind of knew the guy. He wasn't cool, just gave him the right table. Two years. She kept on dating this dude. She asked me, she said, Steve, why are you saying God won't send me Mr. Wright? I said, well, I'm going to tell you something my mother taught me. I got this little job, right? And I used to come in the house. Every time I got paid, I was saving a little bit so I could get me a new car. And I would tell my mother, who was a Sunday school teacher, I would say, hey, mama, I'm going to give me a new car. She said, yeah, I know, boy, but your old car is out in the backyard up on the blocks. I had this old car that set up on these cylinder blocks in the driveway in the backyard. And leaves had got up under it in paper cups and oil stains where I tried fixing it. I just never could get it to working. I used to try to work on cars and stuff, but it just wasn't. It was just an old car. So I get paid again. I said, Mama, I'm going to give me a new car. She said, I know, boy, but your old car outside on blocks. I don't understand this <laughs> Why does she keep talking about this old <laughs> car for? I'm coming in here trying to be positive because I had read this book called The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale and think positive. So one day, about six times, I came in and I said, Mama, I'm going to give me a new car. I'm telling you. She said, I know, baby, but your old car outside on the blocks. So I knew my mama was trying to teach me something because that's, that's how they ever did me because that's how I do my sons. They made me a thinking man. They would never tell me nothing direct. They would just throw it out there. So I said, Mama, how come every time I get paid, I try to come in here and say something positive to you about me getting a new car, and you keep telling me about my old car out on the blocks? She said, Son, you ain't got nowhere to put no new car. I called a friend of mine up. He had a tow service. I said, Man, $20. I need some help. He came and towed the car away from me. I took all them cylinder blocks down, took all that trash that had gathered up on it, bundled it up, went down uh, to Giant Tiger and bought some little uh, asphalt cleaner and put it down and scrubbed that oil up, made that driveway look new. All of a sudden, the driveway looked new. It was a lot of space in the yard and everything. Two weeks later, I got a new car. It wasn't new, it was used, but I bought a car. <laughs> and I pulled it up in the driveway. I said, Mama, look at that, I got the, I got the car. She said, because you got somewhere to put it. She said, son. You can't ask God for something and then don't make ready to receive it. So I told that to this girl. She started crying. She said, oh, my God. She said, I ain't ready to receive it. I said, no. You can ask him for it, but until you're ready to receive it, why would he give it to you? Because you ain't going to do nothing but mess it up. She stopped seeing the married guy. So she stopped going to the restaurant. One day, the maitre d' sees her out somewhere. He approached the girl and said, I haven't seen you in a while. She said, y'all broke up with my friend. He said, wow, I've been waiting. She said, excuse me? He said, I've been waiting. He said, I've been watching you come here for two years. The most beautiful woman I've ever seen. I could not understand why you was with this guy. One and a half years later, them two people got married. Them two people have two kids now. He ain't the maitre d' of the restaurant no more. He bought the restaurant. Because the girl was a financial chick at a bank, so she was the missing piece for him. So instead of being the maitre d', he bought the restaurant. They now own three restaurants. This dude making almost two million a year off of three restaurants. They living their life. You know why? Because she took the old car down off the blocks. So ladies, I ain't saying this about you, but maybe you got an old car <laughs> in your driveway up on blocks. You really want a new car, but maybe it ain't nowhere for the new car to come. Could it be? Maybe God waiting on you to get the old car towed out so you can clean up your yard and he can park a new car there. Could that be the situation with your relationship or could it be with anything else?